Across millions of years, evolution has taught animals to master the air not always through flight, but through gliding. From lizards to frogs, from flying squirrels to snakes, the ability to glide has evolved many times, on different continents and in completely unrelated species. But why? What makes gliding such a powerful evolutionary idea? Gliding is nature's halfway step between falling and flying. It doesn't require wings with strong muscles like in birds or bats. Instead, it only needs surfaces that can catch air, skin membranes, extended ribs, or stretched limbs. In dense forests, this ability gives a huge advantage. A gliding animal can escape predators, move between trees without touching the ground, and reach new feeding areas with little energy. When survival depends on moving safely from tree to tree, natural selection repeatedly finds the same answer, spread out your body, use the air, and glide. Look at the sugar glider of Australia and the flying squirrel of North America. They live worlds apart, but both evolved the same solution, a thin flap of skin between their legs that lets them soar through the canopy. Even some snakes, frogs, and lizards developed their own aerodynamic tricks, flattening their bodies or extending webbed feet to control their fall. These gliders show how evolution can reinvent the same idea again and again, because the physics of survival doesn't care about ancestry, it cares about what works. Gliding doesn't just show creativity, it shows convergence. Whenever life meets the same challenge, evolution tends to rediscover the same path. From treetops to air currents, gliding became nature's silent rehearsal for the invention of flight.